and the diamond crown. Aurora awoke one sunny morning in the most cheerful of moods. It was her 17th birthday and she could not wait to see what wonderful surprises were in store. As soon as Aurora had gotten dressed, her mother, the queen, came in wearing a crown Aurora had never seen before. Gleaming at its center was a large pink heart-shaped diamond trimmed all around with tiny sparkling diamonds. Mother, she cried, what a beautiful crown. Is it new? Actually, replied the queen, it's quite old. And it's the reason I've come to you so early on this very special day. Happily, the queen led Aurora through the castle to a great portrait hall. It was filled with stately paintings, each of a young princess wearing a crown, just like the queen was wearing. Look, mother, that's you, exclaimed Aurora, pointing to the nearest portrait. Indeed it is, replied the queen. It's a tradition in our kingdom that on the princess's 17th birthday, this crown is to be passed down to her to be worn until the day the princess herself becomes queen. Oh, mother, Aurora gasped. Is that crown truly to be mine? Well, her mother said with a smile, I certainly hope so but you must first earn it by answering three riddles. Just then, the three good fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, flew in. Happy birthday, princess, said Meriwether. We're here to give you your clues. Think hard, my dear, and good luck, the queen said, turning to leave. With a wave of their magic wands, the fairies made themselves higher and transported themselves and Aurora onto the castle grounds. Then Flora stepped up and recited the first riddle. To the eyes it's a treat, to the nose a delight, but beware, to the hand it can be quite a fright. The few things to taste it, it sweetens still shows. To this first riddle, the answer is a... Hmm said Aurora when Fauna was done. Oh, I know, said Meriwether. Of course you know, scolded Fauna. It's Aurora who has to guess. Do you know what the answer is, dearie? asked Flora. Let's see, said Aurora. To the eye, it's a treat. So it's pretty. To the nose, a delight. So it smells good. To the hand, quite a fright, so it must hurt, like a thorn on a rose. That's it, isn't it? And she hurried off to the rose garden where she picked the biggest rose she could find. Very good, exclaimed Fauna, and now for the second one. Some plant it, some steal it, some blow it away, some do it several times in a day. Some who are shy might blush getting this on their hand or on their cheek. Can you guess? It's a... Well, said Aurora, thinking. Some planted. It might be another flower. A dandelion, perhaps. You can blow them away, too. But what can you get on your hand or on your cheek? She wondered aloud as she gazed at her reflection in the garden pool. I know, Aurora cried suddenly. It's a kiss, isn't it? Of course it is. And as to prove it, she planted the kiss on each of the fairies. Honestly, said Flora, you're figuring out the answer more quickly than any princess yet. Now it's my turn, exclaimed Meriwether. Are you ready, Aurora? Yes, I am, she replied. Hmm, Meriwether cleared her throat. 
What only gets stronger the longer it lives? What pays you back tenfold the more that you give? Some say it's blind, some say it's true. Some just say simply, I feel this for you. Meriwether giggled. Silly me, I almost said the answer. Let's see, said Aurora. It might be a tree that gets stronger the longer it lives. And I suppose you could say that a tree is blind, but so are bats. Aurora thought and thought. She was still thinking when Prince Philip walked by. Happy birthday, my love, he called with a big smile. Instantly, Aurora knew the answer to the third riddle. Aurora hurried back to the castle and up to her mother's sewing room. I sold the riddles, she said brightly. She took a pink rose from the her, her hair and handed it to her mother. Very good, declared the queen. And the answer to the third riddle? That's when the fairies flew in when, with Prince Philip. It's love, said Aurora. Of course. No sooner had Aurora said the word than the queen took the crown for, from her head and proudly placed it on Aurora's. And then, some say, the heart-shaped diamond shone even brighter than it had before. That night there was a grand birthday ball held in Aurora's honor. Happy birthday, Aurora, my darling! Her mother warmly told her, and may you have many, many, many more.